in previous class we discussed about different kinds of uh, microorganisms and their experiments uh, so uh, in last video we discussed about introduction in that video if you have not seen that video you check uh, the video or otherwise you can uh, just see that in that uh, uh, last class we discussed about the introduction of microorganisms who discovered that microorganisms how they discovered and what the name they have given in the earlier time and in water what this discovered on the land what they discovered so these are the small small topics for introduction we have seen in case of last uh, introduction of the chapter and today we will discuss about the uh, activity 1 one activities are important in a uh, syllabus in biology activities are important if you want to understand true biology so you need to uh, perform the activities or at least you need to listen the activities understood here uh, one of the uh, topic is there here you can see if you are a fast learner in youtube for this video only you need to make speed settings speed settings will be there in the same uh, one point two five x speed or one point five x speed or one point seven five x speed or two point zero x speed. Understood? If you are a fast learner, you can make. So, uh, but if you uh, want to learn very slowly and very clearly and very neatly, means here this speed. Now, what I am speaking, that speed is enough. Understood? Don't get confused. And uh, uh, what is this activity here to uh, find microorganisms whether they are present in nearby our water or not? so nearby our water micro organisms are present in the water or not we need to discuss and so for that what we need to do here just uh, we need to take uh, we need to go near to the tank a small tank here and near the tank uh, from uh, the tank water or near with the pond water uh, we need to collect some water uh, understood some water we need to collect and we need to come to home or to the school lab after coming to the school lab then what we need to do here is uh, we need to Uh, take two drops of that water that means this pond water we have taken or tank old tank uh, water we have taken and from that two drops of uh, uh, water drops we need to take after that uh, taking what we need to do here we need to just place on the slide that two drops that means here two drops then after that we need to focus that under microscope after focusing under microscope then uh, you need to draw sketches understood you need to draw sketches of that you will find uh, like this microorganisms microorganisms like this you can see this is like this microorganisms you will be seeing under the microscope so more accurately you can see this kind of microorganisms understood so in a pond water you can see this kind of microorganisms and it is important that here uh, whenever you go to old tanks or nearby water bodies these kind of microorganisms and uh, can we say now that uh, near by tank water or pond water is safe to drink no that is not safe then we'll come back to the top so here you need to mention that shape of the microorganism size of the microorganism and how big the organism is there so if you see some microorganisms are smaller some uh, microorganisms are larger but all microorganisms maximum 99.99% uh, microorganisms we cannot uh, see with our direct eye understood directly we need to have microscope only without microscope we cannot do anything so that is one activity uh, activity one so nearby tank water or old tank or nearby your home only overhead tanks will be there in that also we can take the water understood apartment will be there apartment uh, water will be there the tank overhead tanks will be there or nearby old municipal water tank will be there that water also we can take that is what known as microorganism so that uh, one uh, thing to know microorganisms are there or not understood uh, but uh, there is one more activity here to uh, see fungus microorganisms types are there fungus bacteria virus algae material so these kind of microorganisms are there so in this eighth class we will be having each and every activity for fungus uh, what is the activity means here just very small thing whenever you just uh, see rainy season here can you see near the, uh, to the trees uh, you will be seeing some mushroom shaped uh, things here umbrella shaped things here just a minute you can see these kind of microorganisms which are present mushrooms what i am meant to say here understood these mushrooms will be growing in summer season 
and these mushrooms will make uh, some dangerous things some good like uh, good mushrooms will be there and bad mushrooms will be there here understood some mushrooms are very eatable can you see here these are eatable mushrooms these are dangerous mushrooms how to identify that so on the mushrooms any spotted like structures are there means maximum they are 100% they are dangerous uh, mushrooms only you can see here also so here also you can see dangerous uh, microorganisms these are very dangerous here you can see here these are very dangerous but when you uh, see these are nutritious purpose you can uh, eat these kind of mushrooms people will be eating the mushrooms for high protein high protein will be there high minerals will be there high vitamins will be there so for that purpose we can eat that understand those mushrooms we need to collect and that mushrooms are usually will be growing in the garden field or outside wherever rain has just fallen so due to that spores will be there usually for that if you see small spores will be there here if this is a mushroom if this is a mushroom here under that small pores will be there they release into the air and whenever rain falls that settles on the ground and when rain falls here they grow into mushrooms here so that is the thing here so uh, we need to collect that mushrooms here to see for our activity that also microorganism only why they called as microorganism here why because they produce from smallest organism called as spores understood one more activity is there uh, good curd form, formation of curd so we need to take a small sample of butter milk and we need to add to uh, warm milk such that in the next day or within 8 hours it starts forming curd so that is about curdling activity here now textbook we have about this curdling activity understood so uh, if we make three bowls for example one uh, bowl cold milk and one bowl warm milk and one bowl hot milk so if we add one spoon just one spoon of uh, butter milk to each of the every bowl then cold uh, milk cannot form curd hot uh, milk cannot form curd why because cold it is suppression of organic uh, organism growth and uh, hot milk it completely destroys the living status of the organisms and warm milk will favor environment for growth of microorganisms so curd will be preparing in warm milk only so this is what today's activity and we shall discuss more in the tomorrow's class